In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to add a webhook in Twilio. This is an essential skill for anyone looking to automate their communication processes, whether it's for customer service, order notifications, or any other type of automated message system. Let's get started by logging into the Twilio console. If you're new to Twilio, or perhaps you haven't logged in for a while, you can find it by visiting Twilio's website and simply entering your credentials. Once you've successfully logged in, you'll notice a dashboard where you can manage all your communication tools and settings. Next, direct your attention to the navigation menu. You're going to look for the section labeled Phone Numbers. Click on this, and a drop-down will appear. From there, we want to navigate to Manage, and then select Active Numbers. This section is where all your active phone numbers are displayed, making it easy to modify the settings for each one. Once you're in the Active Numbers section, find and click on the specific phone number you want to configure with a webhook. This will open up a detailed settings page for that particular number. Now, scroll down the page until you reach the Messaging section. This area is crucial because it's where we can define what happens when messages are received by this phone number. In the messaging section, you'll see an option labeled, a message comes in. This is where you can determine how incoming messages are managed. The default setting may already be in place, so go ahead and change this to webhook. This selection allows you to link your number to an external URL where your server's logic for processing the message will reside. After selecting Webhook, you'll need to specify your HTTP method. Here, you'll have a couple of options, POST and GET. Generally, POST is used when you need to send data securely to be processed, whereas GET might be used for retrieving information without affecting any data on your server. Choose the one that corresponds best with your server's requirements. Now it's time to enter your public URL. This URL is the endpoint where incoming message requests for this phone number will be sent. It must be a publicly accessible URL, so make sure it's set up properly on your server. Copy and paste this public URL into the field provided. Once you've filled in all the necessary fields and you're confident everything is accurately inputted, it's time to wrap up this configuration by saving your settings. Look for a Save button, which is usually located towards the bottom or top of the page. Click it to ensure all the changes you've made are applied. And that's it. You've successfully added a webhook in Twilio. By following these steps, you've set up your system to automatically direct incoming messages to be processed wherever you need. Remember, you can always return to this configuration page to make adjustments as your needs evolve. Thank you for watching, and be sure to stay tuned for more helpful guides.